Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. This is the first Painting with Jay of 2019. Adam, you missed a spot, and shout out to Cody Rue. And as always, this video is brought to you by my Patreon subscribers. If you want to help support my videos, please go check out the link in the description below to help support my campaign. And let's get started on 2019's painting. It'll be a fun year of painting. Today I'm going to be working on a... Um, uh, war trike for my orc army. Uh, I'm going to work on that truck that I did an unboxing for in the near future too. But uh, today I'm just going to work on that because I started it before the new year. So let's get started and talk about the both my Christmas vacation and the new year. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone. So today I'm working on this war trike. As you can see, it is definitely a work in progress. But uh, yeah, things are looking good. Let's adjust the lighting here. Good. So, yeah, I've already got a few colors on it. Um, the metallics and silvers are not done yet. I just, I airbrushed blue. And I've been painting the silvers between washes and other colors. Right now I'm actually working on the flesh tones of the, um, the three, the two orcs and the grot on the vehicle. So that's cool. And I'll work on them today. Finish up the skin tones, maybe paint their bodies, and then continue on the silvers. Um, I'm hoping to have this done within the next week or so. We'll see how much time I'm able to uh, allocate towards it. So the first thing I want to do is just take some um, thin down Warboss Green and highlight up the skin tones of the Grot. I was painting him with a wash before I, you know, he's, the wash just dried. It was my last step that I worked on. So let's get that done. And uh, after that, I will work on the um, just highlighting up the flesh tones as well of the of the other two guys as well, and then the the probably the clothing of the orcs and the grot. Yeah, so it's been a few weeks. Um, it was a busy Christmas vacation. I hope you all had great holiday seasons. Um, it was a busy one for me. A lot of driving whole lot of driving. I drove like 1,500 kilometers in the, um, over the, like the four days that I had off. So it was a lot of driving, a whole lot of driving, but uh, it's what you kind of have to do when you live farther away from all your family members, right? They, they tend to host, you know, in more of a communal area. And when you're the one who lives so far away, you have to make the trip. You know, if I tried to host, honestly, I wouldn't expect my family to come in this direction. Um, no. That's okay. So that's done there. And I'm going to take some uh, Scar Snick Green. Mix it in. And... Uh, go from there. As I said, I'm starting to run out of paints. I'm going to head to my hobby store a little bit later because I am running really low on certain colors and Lamia Medium. Uh, silver, I'm running low on. Um, yeah, non-oil. But it's good. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on this guy. I, my goals, I'm going to make a goals video where I want to talk about my goals for the year. Specifically for, you know, war gaming related, probably. And, yeah, I'm going to do that video as well. I'm going to start filming some videos. Overall, 2018 was a good year. I think it was a good year. Um, for a lot of reasons. You know, I got some videos done. I got back into a groove. Did a bunch of codex reviews. A bunch of battle reports. Some of them were... One of the more, my more recently liked videos, you know, um, or more watched videos, actually. The, my first Orc Battle Report was actually one of my highest viewed videos of the last, you know, couple years. So that's not bad. And my, my channel continues to grow. Uh, not near the rate I would like, but that's okay. I, I work a nine, you know, a full-time job. And I have to work, you know, that's okay. So I make videos when I can. But, uh, so I'm just going to highlight a bit of, of, of these muscles. Uh, 
And then after that, I'll be done the skin tones of the orcs, and then start on the clothing. Um, I have filmed a couple battle reports that I'll have up soon. Uh, one of my, it's an old battle report. It's one of the first ones I filmed with orcs, and I still haven't put it up yet. I really got to. It's with uh, Stu. And so that one will go up in the next week or so. I also filmed one recently with Dave, um, where I tried out Grey Knights post-chapter uh, approved. And to be honest, um, maybe I'll do another video as well talking about that one. But um, that's really not well blended. Uh, no, it's not bad. But um, he, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the Grey Knights. Now, chapter proof did have point decreases, but the way that it was hyping it ahead of time, kind of, you know, I was expecting major changes to the codex, not just the following items got cheaper, or the following guys got cheaper, which is great, you know, cheaper guys is nice, it is very nice, but it doesn't fix the problems of the codex, it just means that you can take a few more guys. You know, in the end, I think I was able to take an extra squad of Terminators for the points drops that occurred. So if I took my 2,000 point list and I converted it to the new 2,000 point list, I would end up with about a free extra squad of Terminators, which isn't bad. You know, they're... But um, there's a lot of problems with the new... I, not new, the newest edition um, for a Night Codex. There really are. I... I it's really, the problem is, with, with this new edition, um, the big thing, in my opinion, is D, right? Weapons that do damage is big, is very big. And Grey Knights um, are very susceptible to it, right? Grey Knights die very quickly, you know, if you have Paladins or Terminators, or even, you know, their normal troops. It's just once you get through their armor save, they die, right? Because a lot of weapons have D, and they don't have that, they don't have nowhere near the survivability that they used to have. Now, it was awesome that once, you know, in this new edition, if you get to choose all your psychic powers and you could cast any powers many times, you're in great shape because you can sanctuary, you know, your squads insanely, and, um, they'd survive, right? Sanctuary helps the invulnerable save, but you can only cast Sanctuary once per, per turn, so you have to pick a squad that you really want to survive. Um, I, You know, it's really weird that they... Um, they have Brotherhood of Psychers, which allows them to cast Smite so easily, but their Smite is so weak. Um, it's so weak. I... I you know, it's great for, you know, great, you cast it on like a 4 or 5 up. Um, I think it's a 5 up officially, but you get a plus 1 for being battle forged. And it, it's like, okay, 1 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage. Great. 1 damage. 12 inch range. You know? But it was predictable. I used it in the battle report, as you can see, you'll see. Um, I killed a couple things, they had one wound left, I'm like, okay. Four up, you die. That's okay. But um, I don't think... You know, they did they did make the points cheaper. But they didn't fix any of the problems. With the, the new codex. They didn't, fit it, they, didn't, they didn't fix anything. They just made things a little cheaper. You know, and it, it's not... I don't... I don't think it's going to be a remembered codex in, in a good way. I think people are going to be like, okay, Grey Knights. I wouldn't expect to see them in a competitive environment. I really wouldn't. And if I brought my list that I bring to tournaments for Orcs, which I think I've, I really love my list for Orcs, I would leaf blow a Grey Knight player off the table. I would. I could easily kill, you know... Um, A couple Dread Knights a turn. So. That's the thing. They just don't have the survivability. To. Uh, to be in this edition. 
But you know what? Points changes are good. Like, it, it didn't make the codex any worse. It didn't. Um, but, to be honest, yeah. I'll, I'll play them. I'll keep playing them, because I like the army. But I think they're the... I have to think they're the weakest faction of Space Marines. And then maybe, like, Templar, but... Um... You know, and I was up against Dark Angels, and Dark Angels aren't um, unbelievably strong either, in my opinion. Um, I don't like their chapter tactic. So, yeah, it was a good game. It was fun. You know, I'll always play against Dave. So, well, they're done. And, uh, yeah. But... Okay, it's been cold. Yeah, let's paint some clothing. So, yeah, I just don't know what to think about the new... Uh, the, like, point decreases are great. They're great. But I just don't think they fixed any of the issues with the Codex. Other than slightly cheaper units. Trago got slightly cheaper. Trago is, is pretty, you know, not... He's, he's pretty insane. I agree that he... I believe he is. Um, and obviously storm bolters, you know, rapid firing, 24 inch range. Cool. So from 12 inches, you have, tw you have four shots a guy, usually hitting on threes or twos, which is nice, but it's, it's bolter fire, right? It's great against hordes that you can take out, you know, a couple orc boys. Um, and yeah. You know, it's not... Um, so right now I'm going to take some uh, Baneblade Brown and paint the shirts. But I just... Uh, I don't have to think. As I said, I would... I, whenever I, I go to a tournament, I could bring them and see how they do. But I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get pummeled for a few rounds. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm, uh... I love in the new orcs. Love in the new orcs. And, uh... Yeah. The new orcs are awesome. I've been playing combinations with them, and... I, uh... Hmm. She's talking loudly. That's okay. So, um, I guess the acoustics in this house. That's okay. Yeah, the new works I love. So, they're the kind of anti Grey Knight. But I'm happy to try Grey Knights. You know, they're a good, they're my nicest painted army overall, I think. Nicest, nicest, um, overall paint scheme. But, um, yeah. So back to the holidays. Yeah, a lot of driving. Got to see my family. I don't... I'm not unbelievably close with my family, to be honest. I'm not uh, on bad terms with them. They don't... It's not like, you know... I don't get along with them. I just don't see them. I'm not unbelievably close to my family. And, uh... It happens, you know? Um, so I go see them. I see them probably once or twice a year, depending on the family member. Um... Yeah, I'd say three out of my siblings I see twice a year. One of my siblings I see once a year. My father I see once a year. My mother I see twice a year. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, as I said, it's not, um, not the worst. I, I don't, it's not that I disagree with them, I just don't see them. We live hours away from each other, and we're busy. You know? I've already had to book off for my job. I already have to book off up to April 30th for my job, already for this year. So I, it's, it's hard because, you know, like plans are made so far in advance. And uh, it's tough. But, uh, yeah, it was good. I 
I saw a lot of oops. I uh, didn't see a lot of oops. Oh, Adam. Adam, you, you missed a spot. Um, let's see. But on a side note, Stu, great job painting. Yeah. Same with you, M Mr. Grovey Grove. Um, mm -hmm. look at that. I think it's looking pretty good. This vest. And this guy's leather vest is going to be dark brown. This guy's going to be light brown. Uh, his shirt will be light brown. Just to add some contrast. But look at that. He's coming along. He's definitely three color minimum. But I don't like that uh, three color minimum. So this year, and I'm going to make a video. I think I'm going to make a video to try to keep myself accountable. And maybe do updates throughout the year about my update, you know, about my goals. Um, that'd be a good idea. One of my ideas, I would love to hit 40,000 subscribers this year. So I'm going to have to put out a lot of videos. So I'm going to take a bunch of my painting tutorials from the Warp and start putting them out for free. So that they start seeing the light of day. You know, I also have some new ones that I'll put out maybe one a month amongst two or three um, previously released ones. That way people get to see them. And uh, that'll be good. And the Warp actually continues to grow. <laughs> maybe I should, I could, other solutions just make all videos free in the Warp. That's an idea. But, um, I'm going to try to get Miniature Painting 101 back on track. It's been a while since I've, it's been about a year since I filmed a new video. And people ask for it. It's by far the most asked for series that I make. And it's my, actually, it's my most popular series. You know, if I was to define my, my YouTube channel by a single video series, it'd probably be Miniature Painting 101. Um, it's, it's, and I'm not admitting I'm the best painter by all means, right? But it helps people. And they were filmed so long ago for many of them that it's actually created a discussion in a couple cases where amazing painters have, have, you know, have been able to jump in and even give more tips to add on top of what I've done, and it's nice. This is a little too thin down, which you can see. So I'll do two thin coats, according to Duncan. I'm looking forward to Adepticon. I really am. Uh, as always, Adepticon. Um, Ken's, I put this on my Facebook thing. Ken Badger, my homie, um, had a birthday sale again for airbrushes. And I ordered an airbrush as well. Look at that. Looking good. This is a beautiful model. I actually don't think the rules are the best for this guy. But I love the model. And obviously, I do like to use codex-specific models. So I'll be using this guy a lot. Because you can't really run biker knobs without um, this dude. Right? Can't. Um, do I think he's better than the, which one's in the, yeah, there we go, that one's in the shot. Um, do I think he's better than the Warboss on a bike? No. Warboss on a bike was better, but Warboss on a bike is gone. And I'll make this little garrot wearing the same clothing as the, um, the Warboss. Um, yeah, I don't think he is. The biggest problem with this thing is he's big, so he takes up a lot of room. Um, his shooting is cool, but you have to get very close. He's got a flamer, or a, basically a melt up, right? So you have to get very close, and you expose him. And he's not as good in close combat. Now he does, he hits more, but does less damage, right? Like, the war boss on a bike, you could give him... Um, you can give him brutal but cunning, and you can give him the the kill claw, and that combined. So he's hitting on like twos reroll, I think twos three, twos or threes reroll. I forget. Um, wounding on most things twos or threes reroll. The turn he jumps into combat, right? And it does. 3 damage, as opposed to D3 damage. 
and the turn that he jumps into combat, it does an additional damage. So it does four damage. So Orbos on a bike can do some serious damage. You know? Serious damage. And, yeah, he's pretty awesome. I just totally painted this guy's arm. Yep. That's okay. I'll touch it up after. I'm the opposite of Adam. Instead of missing spots, I'm painting spots. I really want to get some series, some video series is resurrected. One of them is Miniature Painting 101, Q and J. They were popular. And I really would love to hit 40,000 subscribers this year, which is in reach. You know, I'm in 36,000 somewhere in there. I don't even know anymore. But... There you go. This little grot's hard to paint, so I'm going to have to clean them up after. Yeah, I'll be working on this thing for the next week or two. Um, probably, maybe I'll try to have it done for next week. And then I have, I did start the other dude, this guy. Right? Cool. Also, I want to create a discussion. What do you guys think about the colored, the colored plastics? Because you do run the risk of that. red you know I don't know so we'll see and then of course I'm gonna build all my trucks I did get that amazing truck if you if you haven't seen it check out my unboxing video from um, it was a gift from Ian thank you very much once again I can't wait to paint that thing in the near future as well so let me just touch up the browns again get this all nice First coat has dried. So let's touch it up. Um, and then I took some time off. Well, I, I had to go back to work on the 27th. So I took some time off from making videos because I was really busy. I was working. New Year's Eve, I just pretty much relaxed. My girlfriend and I just chilled. Um, we watched some movies, you know, Ate some appetizers, watched New Year's Eve countdown on CNN. Um, yeah, just relaxed, you know. Not too busy of a New Year's Eve. Frankly, I was tired. I had to work that day anyway. And I, had, um, I don't know if you can see it. I had an, I have an eye infection. Well, not an eye infection, eyelid infection. Um, yeah, just a, like kind of like a sty. Just an infection under my eyelid. Something got in there. And it swelled up terribly. So. There you go. Take some uh, orange paint brown and paint the leather. Yep. So, what does 2019 have in store? Well, sorry, let's talk about 2018. Why not? Let's talk about 2018 for a while. We're 20 minutes into this video, so it's all tons of time, right? Um, 2018 was a good year. You know what? I got a lot of painting done. I put up some videos, not as many as I was hoping, but a good amount. You know what? It was a, more than the previous year. And I'm going in the right direction again. You know, my, my subscribers are still increasing. My views are, are steady most months. Pretty steady, around forty to 50,000 views a month. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not growing, but I'm not decreasing. I'm not getting less popular. You know, I, I've established myself in my channel, but I would love to keep going. And I would love to hit 40,000 subscribers this year. So that's one of my goals. I'm gonna talk about that in a video. I would like to 
have all my orcs painted this year, and that is a very realistic goal. I've already uh, I've already inventoried all the models. I have to paint. Uh, yeah, this will be leather. Mm, you know, I'll do that one blue. But um, I would really like to expand my my train. I've already put in an order using the funds from my Patreon. Hint, hint. Um, I've got a new battle map on the way. So you'll see that in battle reports in the future. So that'll be good. I want to keep making good videos. Um, I gotta figure out. I'm starting to have camera issues, so I may have to buy a new camera this year. I will probably have to put my Patreon money towards that in the near future. I missed a spot. I'm like Adam. Um, let me just fix that up while we're painting. So, this camera has lasted me a very long time though. So I can't complain. Not in the least. All right. Um, I got to go on a really cool trip. I went to Europe, which was a lot of fun. It was, uh, well, I'm not gonna do that again for a while. Um, it was a really cool experience. I'm really glad that I did it. It was really nice. This year, I have um, uh, some vacation time. I have three weeks. some plans. We'll see which ones come to fruition. Yeah. We'll see. That'll be metal. We'll see. I don't want to mention them all because I think my girlfriend can hear me. And one of them is a surprise for her. She's so sneaky. So sneaky. Um, one will be her birthday gift. Will I be going to conventions this year? Yes. I'm going to Adepticon for sure. Um, I haven't decided yet for Gen Con. To be honest, I prefer Adepticon over Gen Con, and um, like two years ago I couldn't go due to a sick coworker. Last year I couldn't go due to uh, my trip to Europe. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out this year. I have a limited number of days off that I can take in that time frame. So I'll have to figure out when I wanna, you know, what days I wanna prioritize it and go from there. I do like the fact this war boss has a pair of um, brass knuckles. But his claw is not a... It's not a uh, power claw. So it doesn't have some of the same rules. That's okay. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm going to keep making videos. I want to keep doing it. I love it. I love making videos. And I make a little bit... You know, it pays for the hobby. And I'm going to start reinvesting a lot 
of what I make. I don't make a lot, obviously, but um, a very high portion of it will be going towards a new camera, probably. And, uh, yeah, some better equipment. You know, that way I can make better videos for you all. Uh, what else? I want to do some uh, merchandise this year. Some merchandise. Specifically, you guys are my confidants in this, so I'm going to talk to you about it. Um, I want to do some dice. Some J dice. So here's my idea. Now this is now this is going back to mini wargaming as well. Um, obviously, my nickname, one of my nicknames, is Crazy Eyes, right? From mini wargaming and from my stuff. And I don't know if you guys know about this or realize this, but whenever Dave rolls double ones, he says, hi, Jay. And the reason is because I had this idea for a long time that I should do crazy eyes dice. Right? And that way, when you roll double ones or ones, you'll see eyes. And I want the eyes to be on the one. Now, I really, I do prefer dice that the symbols are sixes, but I want to make my eyes dice. Now, I have done uh, several, and no, they're not too hard to design, obviously. I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a masterful genius in designing or anything. Now, I did do some prototypes, and I did some surveying with some friends. And unfortunately for me, my original designs didn't look like, they, they, their eyes clearly, but they also looked like other things that are around. So i got to figure out a way to prevent that. So I'm going to slightly offset the eye. But that's cool. I'm going to be doing that order in probably in a couple weeks. So I'm, that's going to be the new thing. Now, those who are Patreoners, I'm going to hook up and, and something with, with, you know, I might send some swords to my Patreoners. Um, but... Um, We'll see. I made a mess on that guy's pants, but that's okay. Um, I haven't painted that blue yet. This um, brush is starting to split a little bit, as you can see. And I found a great use out of it. I really like it. I got it off on Amazon. But... Um, That's okay. I'm going to just use some brush cleaner and get it hopefully back reshaped. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm out of more than brown. Let's keep going. More and more in vein brown. Can you believe this? It's good. Look at this. It's turning out well. I'd say about three or four more hours on this model. Uh, it should be done. It should be close. The silvers, I've not done the silvers yet. There's still a few more silver areas. I'm, as I said, I'm just painting the silvers when I'm waiting for washes to dry and stuff. Um, getting those done. Once the silvers, the silver will be the longest step in this model. And then I'm going to just paint some brass areas, clean it up with some browns. Uh, sorry, not browns. Uh, my, my gray liner for the blacks. Um, maybe do a little freehand. We'll see. I think maybe some like checker patterns. On these things would be good. So we'll see. That'd be cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, do some freehand. Make it look nice and pretty. You know. Get this guy. I want to get him to look done because he is a war boss. Like you know what I mean. He's an HQ, and so. Well, HQs are a very good reason to be a centerpiece to me. They should be a model that really stands out in your army by looks. All the other work boys can look a little generic. The war boss, or in this case the war trike, the HQ should look awesome. It really should. And 
He's definitely past three color minimum. As I said, this year will be, I think it'll be a fun year. It's going to be not as adventurous, probably, as last year. I'm not going to Europe again for a while. Um, but I think it's going to be a good year. What else? I just, I worked hard. You know, I got a, I got a promotion just at the very end of the year. So I just started my new position recently. And it's nice. You know, I do, I loved when I could just sit down and make videos for you all. And I know it's kind of a pipe dream. I do know of a couple more YouTubers recently who've tried to, who have started to try to do it again. Just, you know, do it for a living. And I wish them the best. You know, maybe they'll be successful where I failed. Um, there's different reasons, you know. Most of them are bigger metas. Where they can have access to a lot more players. There we go. I think he's looking, start, you know, he's looking pretty good. Um, this guy's little bands as well. I made a mess of this rot. That's okay, we'll clean it up next. You know, it'll be easy to clean up. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'll ever be able to just make videos again. Maybe. But I'm going to do the best that I can. You know, have a, a combination of worlds. Because I'll never stop making videos officially. I don't know what that sound is. So he's done. Now this guy is going to be a lot of leather on the driver. He has a lot of firepower, just it doesn't hit very well. And yeah, like I said, ain't bad. Regardless of if you like him or not, he's this is going to be a very useful. Uh, this will be a frequently taken HQ. If you're doing vehicle spam or biker spam or you know, knob bikers, this will be your vehicle. What else does it really? 2018 went by fast. These years are starting to fly by. Um, I had a great time at Adepticon. I, it's hard to even remember the years. Again, it was like a lot of time was planning. My girlfriend and I were always had something we were looking forward to. Like one point it was the Zach Brown concert in July. I'm sorry, it was first it was Adepticon. I was really looking forward to Adepticon. And then it was... Uh, the Zach Brown concert in July we were looking forward to, and then Europe, and then Christmas, and uh... hmm. so it's been a bit, it was a busy year. I hope you all had a really good years too. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, as I said, it, this year will be fun. I'm going to paint. I was I got a lot of painting done last year. I got um, my tier. I finished up my tyrannids, which I started the previous year, and I painted Necrons. So that was good. And then I painted the guys from um, the Star Striders, right, from the Rogue Trader box set. Uh, and now I'm an Orcs. And Orcs are going to take me a while. I'm going to be painting Orcs probably well into the summer. Um, maybe. If I'm, if I'm really efficient, maybe not. But I have a lot of things left to paint. You know, my next, event, my next goal after these two tr vehicles is, I think, five trucks. So, five trucks is going to take me a while. Probably a month of just work painting trucks. And the thing is about trucks is that they're so deep. They're one of those models that's very detailed, but not worth a lot of points. So you spend a lot of time painting it. Um, but, and it's not a model I'm going to use frequently in my army. But maybe I will. I'll make some truck boys lists and get that done. Look at that. So, jacket. First coat on the jacket is done. Let's paint gloves. Um, yeah. So the boys are going to the orcs are going to take me a while. But once these boy once these orcs are done, it's going to, you know, really clear up a lot of my models or really clear up a lot of the space that's left in my workshop. These represent a very large portion of my unpainted models. Very large. Well over, I'd say two thirds of my unpainted models are probably orcs. So once I get these done, and so far I've, I've gotten some stuff done so far. I've painted Ludas. Um, I painted. I've repainted my my kill cans. Touched up my death dreads. Um, yeah. Painted, let's see, I finished up my Big Mac with shock attack gun. I did find an old one, an old second edition Big Mac with shock attack gun, so I'm going to repaint him. I'm stripping him right now. And when he's done, I'm going to repaint him with my current scheme. And that way I'll have two Big Macs with shock attack guns. Definitely a leathery. Um, yeah. What else do I have left? The one shock, the one buggy left. After this one, five trucks, a bunch more boys, um, battle wagon. So, it'll keep me occupied. Definitely gonna keep me occupied for a while. But once it's done, it's it's gonna be crazy. I'll be able to see a lot of space left on my shelves, and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. You know, really awesome. I'm gonna just paint these belts. Um, do I think I'll be able to get all my models painted this year? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think 2019 will be the year that my pipe, you know, it's the pipe dream of every war gamer. The year we have all our models painted. But will this be a year that I will put a significant dent in my amount like last year? Totally. Totally. You know, I'm going to keep on the trend of last year. 
and I'm going to paint and it'll be good. Get a lot of painting done and it is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> yeah, because one, yeah, if I can get my works done, that knocks out another army. Afterwards, I'm probably gonna turn to Grey Knights, I think. Grey Knights, I could probably spend a month with all the Grey Knights done. Yeah, about a month, maybe a month or two. Depending on, I have a bunch of Space Marine vehicles that I haven't allocated to any specific color scheme yet. They might be Grey Knights. So. All right, that's the leather. Um, I could paint silver. Yeah, let's do silver for a while. Start painting some silver, and then get all the silvers done. Hit it with a shade. Is that in focus? I think it is. Yeah, it is. And uh, get the silvers done. Go from there. All right, so let's get some silver done. Uh, what else? Oh, use your own brush, whatever. I'll use a big brush for a second and just paint some silver areas. Uh, what else? What can I hit with a big silver brush? They're all painted. No, shoulder pad. Um... There's a bunch of movies coming up this year that I'm excited to see. I'm probably going to try to see Lego Movie 2. I'll have to go see it myself. I don't think my girlfriend will want to see it. It's not her caliber of film. Um, but of course, Avengers 2, Star Wars 9. Let's hope it's not as polarizing as uh, Star Wars 8. Or as bad as Solo. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see. But, uh... I did see a couple movies over the little last little while. I, we saw... Vice. Saw Vice. It was pretty good. It was funny. In a lot of in a lot of parts. Uh, it's the. You know, it's based on the life of. Um, Dick Cheney. Very much written from the side of a liberal. <laughs> um, that's okay. And uh, what else? I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. We saw it in December. I thought it was pretty good. I thought Bohemian Rhapsody was good. Uh, it was definitely not... The problem is I know the albums of Queen. And so I was thinking, I'm like, these movies, these songs are really out of order. And that's one of the things that bugged me. It was like, this song... Did, no, they would... No, that would not be... That song would have been already released. Um, and then, we, of course, we watched the Golden Globes on... Um, on Sunday and Bohemian Rhapsody won Best Picture and for some reason it's not musical now I, I, I know people debate on what is a musical and what isn't a musical um, people argue that Bohemian Rhapsody is not a musical it is a movie about music versus a musical which typically um, uses music to forward the plot so, apparently, the, the good definition is 
In a musical, you would see normal people singing while doing their job. You know, like in the background, doing a dance number or singing. Um, well, like sweeping or, or, you know, working at a shop. Right? And in the musical number. And obviously, it forwards the plot. Like, it, it doesn't... Um, you start at one place, you get to another through the song. Versus Bohemian Rhapsody, which was more about the music itself, right? It wasn't a musical in the sense that there wasn't, like, um, you know, we didn't see Freddie Mercury dancing through the, you know, singing through the streets with a encore of people behind him singing, you know, a song. That would have been cool to see, frankly. I would have liked to see that. But we didn't see it. And so that distinguishment, you know, that's what would distinguish it from a musical technically. And I understand that. I understand that. So, um, all right. But for some reason, Vi and Vice ended up in the comedy section. Now, Vice was funny, but also had a lot of serious moments. But it was, you know, written from the perspective of a comedian or a comedic writer, you know, um, Adam McKay, who does a lot of stuff with Will Ferrell. In fact, Will Ferrell was one of the producers on it. So. Interesting. Interesting. You know. It's weird to see. Of course, I don't, I don't watch movies just because they win awards. I don't like to do that. <laughs> My girlfriend does, actually. She watches, she gets her inspiration of what to watch from the Academy Awards and the Golden Globes. So we're going to be seeing um, A Star is Born sometime in the near future. We actually did try to see it on the weekend, but uh, it was already um, sold out. He's coming along. Look at this. He's really coming along. This is an hour on this model once we get the silvers done that's huge because the silvers you know are taking the, the, on the, mod, the miniatures and I don't know, the, the orc boy, the boys and then the rest of the vehicle and that's also there's a lot of silver on this model you'll see when it's done it's a lot of silver um, yeah so let's switch up brushes I didn't mind Bohemian Rhapsody. I was very surprised that it won um, Best Picture because it wasn't loved by critics. Very lukewarm reception from critics. Didn't seem overly artistic. You know? And the one that won Best uh, Comedy Musical was Green Book. That also was... You know, the thing is, both of them are... I'd say quasi loosely based on a true story. You know, there were a lot of leniences taken with the Bohemian Rhapsody movie, and there were a lot of leniences taken with the um, Green Book movie. And both of them were public. Like people discussed all the leniences that were taken. You know, like all the you know that was they were not. Uh, there was a lot of of leeway with the story. And but they still won. They both won still. So. Yeah. I guess they were, you know, good movies, entertaining. Um, yeah. Nice. I'm gonna hit, of course, hit these areas with shades after, which will bring these really to life. And... But, yeah, I was kind of surprised by that one. So we'll see. The year's gonna zoom right past, you know. January bleeds into February, bleeds into March, and we'll go from there. This year, Adepticon is in March, I believe. I think it's the last weekend of March. So, I'll be there. So, if anybody's going to Adepticon, of course, I'll see you there as always. Mikey Vengeance, we gotta have a game. What army will I bring? I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. Look at that. 
so in the end, I originally I sprayed it blue. You know, the, definitely the blue is not a blue. Will only be like a you know fifth of the small one and I'm done with it. Not even. You know, that's cool. Um, yeah. What else? Football. Um, I watch a little bit of football, but. To all my Chicago Bears fans out there. Whew, that was brutal. Losing and being eliminated off a missed field goal attempt. It happens. Uh, I think their field goal kicker is going to get fired. Mm -hmm. I definitely think he will. But yeah, football playoffs have started. Um, I watch a little bit of sports right now. I know in hockey, the Leafs are doing really well, but I don't think we're going to win. I think Tampa Bay is just the best team ever. Oh, Tampa Bay is insane right now. The Leafs have probably the best record they've ever had at this point in the season, and we're still like 10 points behind Tampa Bay Lane, who are just in our division. So we will have to go through Tampa Bay at some point, probably third round of the playoffs if we get that far to get to, you know, the, the Stanley Cup. Uh, Raptors are playing really well as well. Um, yeah, they're playing really well. And they are, uh, we'll see, they might make it to the, you know, they choked last year in the second round, but Okay, it's been about an hour. I'm out of silver paint. I'm actually have to go buy some more. Um, pretty much the things dry now, so I have to. I should go to the store and buy some more paint. So let's end now. I think this is a good place to end. We've got a lot of work done on this. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? It's looking pretty good. It's starting to look quasi. You know, it's definitely a work in progress, but it's still it's starting to come along. So let's end right here. So as always, this ends this week's episode of Painting with Jay. I really hope you enjoyed it and got some painting done as well. And once again, if you want to help support my videos, please go check out the link in the description below. It's because of those five extra funds that I'm going to be able to um, to you know invest in better equipment and uh, better terrain for my videos. And uh, stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. You know, as always, I'm enjoying this. It's going to be a year of painting. It's going to be a year of excitement. And uh, I hope you get as much done as you can. Maybe you can rid your world of unpainted models this year. We're going to try. So stay tuned for more videos. As always, this is brought to you by my Patreon subscribers. Links in the description below if you want to help support my videos. As you can see, their names go by my head. And uh, stay tuned. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting.